Welcome back to the WTF Podcast. That's a little hot there. <laughs> what a treat. Last week I had my beautiful wife playing trivia with me. If you missed it, please go back and check it out, please. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead and do that. Uh, it's been a uh, pleasure having her. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Do so right now. Right now. Go ahead and hit it. If so, we're going to get this party started. Let's do it. Welcome to the Where's the Focus podcast. WTF is an entertaining yet educational ride with top guests from every industry. Knowing where your focus goes, your energy flows. Hosted by top selling author, sought after speaker, leading coach, and high level executive in the financial industry, Daniel Manginelli. So, WTF? WTF. Had a great week last week. I'm going to have my wife on the podcast. It led up to uh, Friday. You know what Friday was? Um, Friday was Denim and Diamond's Daddy Daughter Dance. Try to say that really fast. Denim, Diamond, Daddy, Daughter Boss. <laughs> Denim and Diamond Daddy Daughter Dance at uh, my daughter's school. Now it's my second go around making it to uh, my daughter. Go with me to things. My oldest is now 18. There's not a chance that uh, we're going to be doing, you know, I try to get a hug out of her and she's like a scared cat, but uh, she's coming around. My youngest is 11, so I still have some time. <laughs> now at the Denim and Diamond Dance, it was a cowboy theme. Can you believe that? Yeah! <laughs> oh, listen to that. Yeehaw. <laughs> and you know, I am never, ever, ever going to miss a time did i get dressed up that's for come sure. on now dog well i i like come on i man. like getting dressed up it's if everybody knows me <laughs> so i grabbed my wrangler jeans and my big belt buckle and my cowboy boots and my black cowboy hat and i was ready to get down now my daughter on the outside was saying don't embarrass me please again please <laughs> He's well knowing on the inside, she's thinking there's not a chance. So we walked in, we checked in, we got her flower for her wrist on the right side. We checked in and they go, Hey, welcome to the daddy daughter dance, denim and diamonds. And she ran off to see her friends. Now, as I, uh, as I sauntered over to the, you know, where the dads were, <laughs> that's, that's cause saunders a cowboy word. I sauntered over. <laughs> To where the dads were standing around on the around the dance floor, like in a circle, like this big circle watching, you know. And um, as the Taylor Swift came song, song came on, uh, and the screams took over. I don't know if anybody's been to a dance where Taylor Swift comes on. The screams took over, and I knew it. It's my time. Oh, look, there it is in the video, right there. There's. <laughs> and, uh, first. She gave me that look like, what are, what are you doing? And then she realized I wasn't going anywhere. And then it was, okay, let's go. So after that, it was game on. We jumped and we danced and we laughed and she laughed at me, not really with me, but af at me. When we left, I asked, how was it? And she said it was fun. But why were you only one of the dads that were dancing? We were just standing around. Cause I said, if I'm going to be there with you, we should make it the best time ever. And I also believe if you're going to do it or do something or go anywhere, why not do it great? Followed by her saying, you don't have to be crazy all the time though, dad. Well, that, that, that's true. I do know this. We made a core memory. Getting others outside their comfort zone creates a real memory. Anyone, anybody can just show up. And say you did it. And from the looks of the dads in the circle around the dance floor, I'm sure their wives signed them up so they can say, yeah, we went. But showing up is just not enough. Think about some of your best stories. If you're listening right now, think about some of your best stories. The ones you tell with your friends and your family over and over and over. And they're still funny. It had something to do with someone doing something outside their comfort zone. Those are the best stories. That's when you have that core memory, the one that makes you smile and laugh, and you want to repeat it over and over. Look, in business, how are you separating yourself? Now, I'm not talking about dressing up as a cowboy and embarrassing someone, or maybe I am. <laughs> what core memory 
do you leave your percent potential clients with? It's a great question. I'm not saying you got to jump around and sing to Tw Taylor Swift. That might not be the answer. But you're going to have to do something, say something, or go somewhere that gives a core memory. Or you're just going to be another salesman, another coach, another leader. You've got to separate yourself. If today brings you anything, say this. What I don't know, I don't know. Wow, Dan, that's really, really profound. Let me say it again. What I don't know, I don't know. So do things that you might push yourself into the uncomfortable waters. Why do we worry so much about what other people think of us? Those that criticize are usually the ones who will only play it safe and avo avoid anxiety. And anxiety is a low tolerance of uncertainty. Most don't like to be uncertain or like uncertainty. We want to know before we do anything. I just don't want to jump in. I got to, I got to know all the facts and everything before I do anything, what people might think and what people might say or how I'm going to look to others. Life doesn't work that way. It's full of uncertainty. Ever said, I can't do that. What are they going to think of me? You might, might have said it out loud, but you said it to yourself before. I know we all have. To make a core memory, that's when you just have to do it. When you feel like, what will they think of me? That's when you want to do it. Doing things that others aren't willing to do is what separates the average from achiever. Look, it's simple. Achievers are just willing to do what the average is not. Achievers are willing to do what the average is not willing to do. We all fight our own insecurities. The things we know about ourselves that we think others see in us all the time. And that's okay. No, that's all right. Because we're all flawed. <laughs> we're all a work in progress. We're all trying to navigate life and business and do it the best we can, be a parent. And we all have those insecurities that creep in. This week, push yourself a little more. Don't let others or their insecurities stop you from dancing, even when all those people are watching. I uh, hope you got something out of this, not just me like dressing up uh, for denim and diamonds, daddy, daughter, dance. Boom! Take that. You know, that requires one more of these. That's why. Yeah! Oh, yeehaw, my WTFers. And as always, go out, have some fun, and make dreams come true.